This is a review of my awesome bike trailer previously used in my LED build episode. I've used it a few times a week for grocery runs for the entire year that I've owned it. Unlike most bike trailers, this one uses a unique seat post connector that I've really come to appreciate. But it's not perfect. The linkage itself is very secure, but there's no quick way of removing it from the bike. If you're using this on a trail, you might find it difficult to drop the seat post, and a hydraulic dropper post might not appreciate the force that it puts on it at all. Hooking it up is simple, though initially you might find securely clicking it in place to be a bit awkward. Once it's clicked in, however, it won't disengage on its own. and it isn't too easy to remove, but you don't want it to be. The linkage is essentially a massive spring that gives it a very wide range of motion. Super tight turns won't be a problem, but the connecting arm will rub against large tires when going off a tall curb. The canvas cover comes with straps, but I don't use them as it seems secure enough all on its own. The canvas is so tight that it's worn some holes in the corners, but I'll probably patch and replace it someday. The trailer is easily removed from its frame, but the trade-off of this is a rattling noise. When it's carrying weight, it's very stable and quiet. When it's unloaded, hitting a small bump might cause it to flip over. A bolt fell out of mine because I didn't use thread locker, but a ring clamp solved that problem. It's been through the most abuse recently while being pulled down the trail carrying a 23 pound battery. And though it's barely wider than me in the bike car, it's like driving a tractor trailer and you have to make wide turns or risk disaster. The canvas lid is actually very good at keeping the insides dry. Water can pool up for quite some time on the top with no seepage. As a kid, I always thought that a bike trailer would be so cool to have. You get used to this thing's quirks, and I don't think I could live without one now that I've used it for so long. It's easier to pull than you think, and it adds momentum on the downhill. For $140, it might seem like a bit much, but from what I've gotten out of it, I consider it to be a reasonable deal. I haven't tried any other trailers on a mountain bike, but if you have one that's better for trail use, let me know. I'll look into it and see if I can acquire one and compare it. Until next time, you know what to do. Go ride.